welcome back to the um, Pilates Reset Challenge and today we are going to be doing a workout called Lower Body Tone. So we're going to start by standing and we're going to step forward, forward, squat. So bum goes back, 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 squat. So from the side, forward, forward, squat back in the chair, back, back, squat. Okay, so we're going to do six with the right leg leading, six with the left. So let's go out, out, squat, back, back, squat. Okay, do what you like with the arms. So long as the arms are moving, it's fine. Two more on this leg. Squat back. And last one. So now change to the other leg leading. You may notice a difference. I don't feel quite as stable when I'm leading with my left leg. So four, my arms really are all over the place. Five, Last one. Down. So now I'm going to start working the outside of the hips. We're going to do a side lunge to the side lunge to the side, and then knee comes up to tabletop. So from the side. So again, the bum is going back, and then we're lifting up. So we're going to do eight on the right side. So this is for eight. Seven, six, five, four. So this is working both hips. Three, two, and one. So now we're going to hold that knee up. Let's move away from the light. And we're going to fly and then knee to tabletop, okay, so from the side. So we're gonna come out and balance, back to tabletop. So we're just gonna do six of those to get, get balance. And we're gonna come out and up for two. So it might help to focus on a spot, three, four, five, and six. Okay, let's do the same thing on the leg, starting with the side lunge. So other side and up, two. So you might also find it easier doing this off the mat on the floor. Do what works for you. Five, six, seven, and last one, eight. Okay, get your balance. And then let's fly back and up. I'm gonna come off the mat to do this one. Fly and lift, three. Four, five, and last one, six. Bend the knees and come back onto the mat. So now we're going to go to externally rotate the legs from the hips. Okay, so the femurs just rotate in the hip socket. And we're going to come down into a squat. So we want to come down straight. Okay, so we're not sticking our bum back now. We're just down straight. Okay, we're going to come down, lift the heels, lifting up, squeezing through the inner thighs, drop the heels. So we're going to do 10 of those. 
So down, heel lift, squeeze up, drop the heels. Two. So this is toning those legs and also bringing in some balance, strengthening the ankles. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Start to feel it now. Nine. And last one. Great job. Let's now go down onto okay, the mat. Okay, so coming down onto the mat and we're gonna go into an elbow resting position on all fours. So when we're on this elbow position, we wanna be pushing through those elbows so you can feel your lat muscles on your back engaging. Okay, head is in a nice alignment, our abs are on. We're gonna glide one leg back and then we're just going to lift and lower, only in line with the hip. So what we're not doing is throwing the leg up and losing the control and the form in the back. Keep those abs on to protect the back. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so now we're gonna bend the knee, tap the opposite calf, and then shoot the leg up and out on an angle. So tap, up and out for eight, seven. So this is using your outside of the glute. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now bend the knee, flex the foot and pulses up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees come in, straighten the arms now and we're still pushing through those hands to fill the space between your shoulder blades so you're nice and secure. And we're gonna do um, our fire hydrant where we take the leg out to the side and down. So stay with your hip bones facing the mat. So I don't want you to tip over to one side. So only let that hip go out as far as your body will allow. So let's go for eight. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Quickly widen the knees and just let your body rest. It's a good way to open the hips out anyway for this lower body tone workout. And just take a couple of breaths into the back. And one more. And then we're gonna come back into the elbow position, setting up, and then we're gonna glide the opposite leg back. I'm gonna do the whole series again. So let's lift and lower for eight, seven, six, really lengthen that leg away, four, three, two, one, bend in the knee, tap the opposite calf, leg shoots up and out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bend the knee, flex the foot, pushing up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees under, straighten those arms for our fire hydrant for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then widen the knees again and just rest. And then come onto your side. Okay, so create a pillow with the bottom arm. 
our bottom knee is bent, our top leg is long. We're pushing that hip away to make sure we're nice and lifted in the waist. We're gonna do a side kick exercise. So we flex the foot as we kick, kick, and then we sweep it back and extend slightly. Okay, so we're not wildly wafting. We're keeping our upper body nice and stable using those abdominals. So we kick, kick, and back. Seven. Six. Great one for the hamstrings. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. So now bring the knees together, feet together for clam shells. So we're going to open and close. So don't rock back on that hip. If you want to keep your hand on your hip to make sure those hip bones are pointing forward, do that. So for three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now raise the feet, same for eight, seven, six, five. Should be feeling nice and warm in this area on the outside of the hip now. Three, two, one. Now keep those feet up there. We're going to open, then we're going to extend and in for eight, seven. Really lengthen away. Six, five. I'm feeling it too. Four, three, two, one. And lower it down. Great work. Okay, before we get on to the other side, we're just going to go onto our back. And we're going to do just a few hip rolls um, and some little bit more work for those glutes. Okay, so we're gonna inhale to prepare. Exhale, tip the pelvis towards you, pushing through the heels, the glutes and the hamstrings to roll up, getting as much movement as we can out of that spine. And then sink down from the ribs. And release completely at the bottom. Okay, we're gonna do two more like that. Just pulls at the top and then rolling down. And let's do one more. And roll down. Okay, so this time we're going to stay up. So tuck that pelvis. Get secure, push through those arms and bring your left leg to tabletop. And we're going to tap the toe away for six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in. Make sure you're still nice and lifted and level. Right knee to tabletop. Tap. Five, four, three, two, one one in and roll down and then hold on in front of the knees rolling up and let's go to the other side okay so getting set up creating a pillow with that bottom arm bottom knee is bent top leg is long and i'm pushing that hip away to make sure i'm nice and lifted in the waist so if we start with a side kick 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 and back. So make sure that leg doesn't come higher than hip level. So it just stays nice and level the whole time. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Knees are coming together now and we open and close two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, raise the feet, open, good, three, four, make sure that top shoulder is nice and relaxed, five, six, seven, 
eight. Okay, keep them up, open, and then extend and tap. Two, three, we're almost there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Okay, rolling onto your back. We're gonna end today with some nice stretches. So we've worked our glutes really hard, so we're gonna start with a figure four stretch. So taking the ankle across one knee. If this is enough for you, stay here. If not, grab the back of the thigh and bring that knee in. But try and keep your pelvis in a neutral position. So don't tuck it in to try and pull the leg in further. Just push the pelvis away a little bit and you'll feel a really an intense stretch around the outside of that hip. And just breathe. It's such a great stretch, figure four, for the hips. Okay, just put that foot down. Okay, and then hold on the back of the, th of the thigh and just lengthen the leg, flexing the foot and in. This is just a hamstring stretch, but in the mid range. So we're not stretching it in the extreme, but it's a good one. It's a couple more. And last one. And then let's change sides. Oh, so. Okay, figure four first. Bringing that knee towards you. And then trying to keep the pelvis in neutral. I know it takes a little bit of an effort to do that because it wants to tip up as you bring the knee in. Some nice deep breaths. And then the foot down, and then hamstring stretch. Push it away and in for two, three, just a couple more. Great job. Hold on the front of the knees, rolling up, and that's another day done. So excellent job. Well done. Hopefully you really felt that in the glutes and the legs today. So I will see you back here tomorrow when we're going to be doing core strength and stability. So have a great day. See you later. Bye.